Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, spiritual star warriors of our cosmic legion of light, the gold rose codes of healing and transformation of our dragon nation of the Sophia Christos are pulsing in from the Most High to complete our preparations for our quantum leap of consciousness into the new golden age of eternal life. As the universal life force flows through our sacred vessels, lighting up every atom and cell to upgrade our DNA into our 12 strand crystalline codes of the 144 to transform into solar light bodies of heaven on earth. Our galactic brothers and sisters of all star nations are reaching out to our star seed earth angelics through time and space to assist our ground crew inside team to bridge the gap to shift from a closed system to an open system as the grand reunion commences. Through our great ascension process, we are releasing and letting go all that no longer serves Gaia and all her children of the sun and call in our true benevolent timeline of peace and prosperity for all sentient beings of the way. As Yin merges with Yang, heaven with earth, Shakti dances with Shiva, and the eagle flies with the condor as the masculine becomes one with the feminine in divine union to free all of humanity from all slavery systems of control. Together we consciously co-create the pure land of enlightenment and transform this realm into the paradise she has always evolved to be. Now we light up the grids and sing our song of freedom forevermore. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer for second ray healing and illumination and peace. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light Jennifer Okangale. White blue diamond dragons are anchoring vertical columns of white light. They are preparing to repair the ley lines and know the key spots that will be attacked and affected. They are aware and have cosmic foresight. The dark is kicking up because they are desperate, but they're no match for the advanced crystalline technology of the dragons. These dragons have learned a lot since the fall of Atlantis and know exactly how to prepare to bring down the blueprints to heal the ley lines during this type of situation. The fallen timelines are collapsing and will not be repeated. Stay the course and do not go into fear, says the dragon family of light. And from divine broth or of the light pars kute, 333 flowing in. There is sacred energy guiding us in this now moment. That is why lately we have been distancing ourselves from who and what no longer serve us. Instead, we have been now begun attracting and manifesting who and what does serve us, elevate us, nourish and inspire us to vibrate higher daily. Within divine love of one, pars kute. And from divine sistar of the light she from numbers by she numerology. 10, 12, 23. 2023 has been a lot. A lot, a lot. So today has a message for you and a list of things to do. The message is to take a break from taking life and yourself too seriously. You are actually getting in your own way. So one, be dumb for a day because your brain is on overload. Two, celebrate anything. Three, release everything. 4. Put guilt and worry down. You know they're in there. 5. Follow your heart. It knows what you need. 6. Take tiny vacation moments all day just because. 7. Be excited about who you are becoming. 
Today is the breather you need as you continue your journey of self-actualization. This isn't just a suggestion, it's a requirement, and part of leaving old you behind. And today from Divine Brawl Throw the Light, Miguel Angel. Pluto, the planet associated with transformation and power, is now moving forward after a period of retrograde since May 1st. This shift has brought important changes to our lives, especially in our relationships and personal growth. During this time, we have been uncovering hidden emotions and limiting beliefs that were holding us back. Many of us have gone through an awakening phase, becoming more aware of what's been lowering our energy. With the 1010 portal and upcoming eclipse season, we can expect further changes and a push to take action. It's a time to express our truth, set boundaries, and let go of draining elements in our lives. It is time to move forward. From Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, 1010 Gate, Death and Life, Twin Flames, Message, What is the opposite of death? Life. What is the opposite of life? Death. Accept both. Humanity for the past three years has been collectively processing and cleansing the first faded poison. Now humanity is currently processing the second faded poison, and soon humanity will process the third faded poison. The three poisons are what infected the souls of human DNA. They are interconnected, one brings the other. Energy update, this is the opening of the cleansing of the third faded poison. There is a powerful preparation that will take place for this, and twin flames are the forerunners of this last cleansing. They are the ones that have the keys. Each step is to be taken steadily and in alignment to the masculine and feminine principles. Transiting from the condition of death to the condition of life. Returning back home within. We will witness a major exorcism taking place. This is necessary for the inner space needed to be available so that the embodiment of the true feminine and masculine can be completed. This is connected to the essential part of physical restoration of the two first DNA strands and will push the twin flames to new heights of self-realization. New ways and paths are opening now that have everything that the twin flames need for their glorious healing and ascension. The feminine and masculine are settling their quantum differences, which were never really differences, because the actual purity of their love was never spoiled. It has remained safe and sound. This whole journey was about them remembering their two main living qualities, and they will start from there, because these two living qualities are the base. So it is. Message. Be aware of the staged events that are there to mislead humanity. Demons will be seen. They are master manipulators that have no ethical boundaries, but they have nowhere to hide anymore. This is positive. Humanity is parting ways with them, and they are parting ways with humanity. As it was shared before, remember that the more the Divine Masculine is returning to the physical reality, the more violence will be witnessed in 3D reality, at least for a period of time. Athens. Dancing with the Stars. There is a continuous increase in the acceleration of the rotation in our DNA as the flow of the waters of life are pouring in. This will ignite a reunion of the bridges that were damaged or cut, which is of great importance. Both opposite flows of the masculine and feminine principles are in full mode. The transformation of the Merkaba vehicle is progressing. It is all moving so fast. So we are being guided to physically bring more movement in our daily life in order to facilitate the body and the aura adjust to this powerful and fast increasing flow as the new Merkaba is solidifying. Our personal star alignment is the key that has unlocked this power. Message. Move, dance, shake, and you will be the unshakable. Bless all our teachers and guides who are showing us the way. Erini, 
Huna Ma Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Linda Lee, their family of love and light, Gaia and the Divine have a quick message for the light workers and humanity. The Divine says since Gaia's last call for help, there have been a huge number of light workers who have answered Gaia's call and joined her to clean up the planet. Per Gaia's latest report, the clearing effort is going well. There is a great deal of removal that has happened. The effort has covered a big area of the planet. The Divine says that Gaia is very grateful for light workers and their willingness to help. Together, Gaia and light workers have made huge progress. The Divine says right now the clearing is still going on. Gaia and the Divine are pretty optimistic that this cleaning campaign can end on time so that the Divine plan can move forward quicker. Gaia too is much relaxed with the knowledge that she has the help from lightworkers and the planet will be much clearer after this great endeavor. The Divine says because of the removal of the old energies, the planet will have some reactions. The Divine urges us to stay peaceful and allow the releasing to pass. Knowing that Gaia needs this clearing, the planet and humanity need this process so that Gaia's ascension can advance and the planet will be more peaceful. It is just the process. It is important that lightworkers stay peaceful and hold the space for the releasing process. Know that this process passes very quickly. Gaia is very grateful for your peaceful presence and powerful unconditional love. Again, thank you for your dedication and love for the planet and humanity. Divine blessings to you always. Linda Lee, Gaia the Divine, and the Company of Heaven. So it is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, as you know, there are powerful energies governing our planet system at this time, as not only our planet is evolving, but all the planets that accompany us in this conscious evolution. This is a very important passage for all to work in personal balance and discernment, for guides invite us to see from a higher perspective what is taking place in ourselves and in the macro. We are now entering into a more harmonic cycle, and even though collectively it does not seem as such, the transition that we are undergoing is very real. This is why there are many non-benevolent tactics playing out, trying to impede this evolutionary leap. The solar eclipse in Libra, together with the eight-dimensional energies that are already descending upon our planet, and that help us to continue unifying ourselves with our illumined aspects is helping to dissolve the process of dehumanization and abuse of our life force that is taking place, especially in specific areas of our planet, to create more separation and control. Guides invite us to create balance within so we can anchor the same balance in the areas where our planet needs our assistance. We all can, independently of our global mission, create stabilizing anchoring points where we can seed our love and intention to restore all that needs to become whole again. Anchoring planetary harmony is our priority as ascending souls, and this is what we most are required to do now, if our bodies allow us to help as sometimes due to the intensity of our personal ascension journey, we may simply need to rest. Fear is being used again as a mechanism to control our sovereignty. When we are in total alignment with the divine laws, and then with all within creation, acting with integrity and in conscious co-creation with all, we dissolve their non-benevolent tactics to infuse more fear and separation. For we have stopped feeding fear and moved into a loving space, where we dwell within divine love with all. Guides invite us to be in the most illumined frequency possible for us at this time, as a way to neutralize all we can. The massive manipulation occurring at this time, as well as the massacres happening all around the world, not just in the areas that are being most propagandized, and all of us together do make a difference. It is when we look back in time that we see all we have achieved on both a personal and planetary level. 
Our mission is to remain always in a state of divine neutrality as guides remind us, for it is where we can cease feeding polarization and the lack of empathy that we may not always notice, but that is more and more evident as another tactic to dehumanize us, something achieved through the normalization of what is unloving and inauthentic. Let us join as one soul family to send our love and prayers to those who are now fighting to reclaim their sovereignty. As free divine beings, let us act as love pillars, supporting the light for those who need strength at this time. Within infinite love to all, from NataliaAlba.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica New Earth Calling For the light of you is creating great change. Waves of great transmutations, believe and see this, as the light of now is the new earth, frequency. As the awakened souls, we ask you to feel into the light transmission of you. See the limitations of now as light opportunities for rapid awakenings for others. For the path of light advancement and your role in anchoring light is fundamental to the advancement of light. Day by day, the light changes are before you. Simply be the observer of the humanitarian experience. Allow the journey to flow. For we collectively ride the light waves of multidimensional advancement. We observe and see the challenges before you. The humanitarian experience is a complex web of light. Together we join in light for all beings. Sending waves of cosmic love New Earth Light Alliance, the Arcturians and Karen, Global Ambassador of Light, from KarenLithica.com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn 144, God Code. The inner child is being reborn, healed, as purification is finalizing. This opens you up into the Trinity field of oneness and alchemical creations. We are moving into this next level of prophecy, fulfilling God's plan for the new earth. Peace, happiness, honesty, unconditional love, kingdom marriages, and soulmate relationships will come from the endings and beginnings of happening with Libra Taurus eclipse season. Keep going, dear family. The light body is almost complete. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godco.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Thursday, October 12th, Mercury, ruler of our ego mind, is in a tough in conjunct connection to Jupiter, ruler of the big picture. Our perception of our current reality may be challenged as we try to see things from a higher perspective. We may be having trouble putting all the pieces together and understanding why things are unfolding the way they are. This may be especially true in relationship or financial matters. We are being guided to stay balanced and in a place of faith that there is a purpose to the current events in our lives, but this may be proving difficult. Try to let go of the lower mind's thoughts and rise into the universal mind's truth. Trust that there is a reason for all that is occurring, even if you do not know what that is, yet. Blessings of love and light to all, from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mars enters Scorpio. The skies are still vibrant, filled with potent magic and depth of feeling. With Mars now entering home territory, it sets the cauldron bubbling fiercely. Emotions are tempestuous. Jealousy peeks out, especially if we don't get what we want. Unaddressed rage simmers beneath the surface. Care is needed to channel this energy effectively. During this transit, we are motivated by the desire for deeper intimacy and the need to solve life's mysteries. But there is also the drive towards power and control. What frustrates us most is feeling out of our depth powerless, unable to enact change. In these instances, anger can boil over, but if we are aware of deeper undertones, conscious of shadow expressions, mindful of the scorpion's tendency to sting first and ask questions later, 
then we can put this strong energy to good use. Be proactive about resolving conflicts with close confidants. Do not allow grievances to fester. Nip arguments about money in the bud. Face your fears. Explore your motivations for why you want what you want. With awareness and clarity, there is relentless determination to achieve your goals. Initiate the mission. Have the courage to change what needs to be changed. Pursue the truth. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 252, Yellow Overtone Human. The number five is called Overtone, and its keywords are Empower, Radiance, and Command. The fifth day of a wave spell shifts the energy into a more intense pace. It's a get-her-done kind of day. If you use this energy rather than be overpowered by it, you can achieve an amazing amount. Think big and tap into this energy resource. Today is Yellow Human, and its keywords are influence, wisdom, and free will. Humans are vessels to be filled with wisdom that is channeled. However, we have free will to do what we choose with this wisdom. Use your intuition today and the wisdom that it brings will be very empowering. Remember, we are in the yellow star wave spell, and as with any wave spell, it is the days that share the same color as the first day, that are really the lead players in the 13-day journey. So that means the first day, the fifth and ninth and last day are when most of the action takes place. The agenda for the yellow star wave spell is beauty, art, and elegance. This is still the underlying theme, and today the yellow human is empowered by the wave spell agenda. The ninth day will be yellow warrior, and the last day, yellow sun. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Christina Papa Giorgio, yellow overtone human, 5 Abe, Keen 252, 12th of October 2023, Radiant Wisdom. 12, 10, 20, 23, equal 3, 1, 7, equal 3, 8, equal 11, equal 2. Day codes 12, spiritual strength, wisdom, learning, creative expression. 3, holy trinity, joy, happiness, creativity, communication. 11, portal gate, polarity, illumination. 2, twins, partners, cooperation, alliances, duality. Month year codes, 10, manifestation, perfection, leader, authority, power. One new beginnings, original, unique, leader, independent. Eight, infinite, abundant source flow. 20, the awakening, clear vision. Two, 23, royal star of the lion, strength, protection. Keen 252 equal nine, destiny, service, compassion, humanity. Another magical and heavenly divine day of radiant empowerment and illumination as we head into the Eclipse Cauldron, day five of the spectacular yellow star wave spell where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty, grace, and harmony in our lives so that our lives become a living work of art. Day five of Lamotte's wave spell is a deeply spiritual day filled with an abundance of yellow, golden energy from the combined energies of the star, yellow human, and yellow sun. It is a day of empowerment and radiance. We have double overtone energies today, which are deeply spiritual tones bringing great power to the star bliss suns and new earth leaders. A very powerful day for magical enlightenment and illumination. It is also a day which activates the question, what legacy would you like to leave on this planet? How can you, as an individual, use your creativity and wisdom to make this world a better and more beautiful place for future generations? Tone of creation, overtone, tone five in the spiritual realm. Action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. The overtone tone beautifully aligns with the theme of today's code, that of using your free will choices to empower yourself and others in order to shine brightly. Command your radiance and spread your golden light. Today's question is, how can I align with divine wisdom using that knowledge to empower and influence others through my radiant creations? 
Divine blessings for radiating greater influence today. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 252, Yellow Overtone Human. The mantra, the code for today is, I am power, in order to influence. Commanding wisdom. I seal the process of free will. With the overtone tone of radiance, I am guided by the power of universal fire. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge or a one-time donation to the links at eaglelovecondor.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Aurelia. Prayer for Second Ray Healing. Prayer for Illumination and Peace. Beloved I Am Presence, blaze forth now from the heart of Beloved Alpha and Omega, from the heart of Beloved Helios and Vesta, into our individual hearts and minds, glorious waves of golden flame of illumination and peace flood us with the precious oils of universal knowledge and wisdom come now and direct thy precious light rays of divine illumination and peace into every aspect of our lives flood the earth and humanity with the golden flame of christ illumination understanding and peace from the heart of god and the great central sun Divine flame of illumination, bless my world today, golden waves of peace. Bless my world in God's perfect way, flame of light so wondrous to behold. I am thy wisdom and all that I am, golden fountain of illumination. Infuse every part of my being with thy golden oil. I am, I am, I am illumination blazing through my heart mind and soul thank you for joining us today beloved beings of light have a most beautiful blessed sacred and powerful divine goddess feminine day tomorrow on friday the 13th a powerful day of transformation healing and manifestation as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.